What does it mean when a woman says, I'm not like the other girls? <laughs> I'm really mean? curious. To what hear does this it one. mean? Have you ever said says, that? Or, yeah, like, I'm not like the other girls. Yeah, no, fact. Because I'm definitely not like the other girls. Welcome back to Can I Vibe with y'all, man, with the vibes are immaculate every time we hop up in here. Every time. Every time. If it's your first time listening, first time watching, it's your boy Kaz. You can follow the IG, C A Z underscore zero, all that good stuff. Y'all ain't gonna follow, but whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> and it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis O. Two, three. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And we got a we got the guest back. Yes. We got a solo guest today. First time in a minute since we did a solo guest. So you know the vibe's gonna be immaculate regardless. <laughs> I am Linda Lucia. I am a content creator in the car space. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Linda Lucia and actually every other social media platform is Linda Lucia. We're gonna we're gonna get Use this time to get the male perspective and female perspective on different things. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have a segment that says, basically, what does it mean when a woman says blank? Or what does it mean when a man says blank? Mm. And Spicy. I'm actually curious to hear all of our you know, opinions on that. Because every, everybody same, got same. a different thought on it. So <laughs> we'll see. And then we're going to have some narcissism talk. <sighs> There's been a lot of people out there who have dealt with the narcissist or who are a narciss- narcissist. So we're, we're going to do that. a little sec. Ooh, Chris, you got something to say? <laughs> no, I'm just taking a sip. That's all. It's okay. The people going to find out the real you. We'll let them decide. I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I swear I'm chilling. All right. Oh, so I'll go ahead and start it. We're going to start with what does it mean when a woman says blank? I'm nervous. You know what? I'm actually going to start at the bottom. Ooh. Work your way backwards. What does it mean when a woman says, I get along better with guys than girls? <laughs> oh, that's easy because that's me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. so okay. easy. Okay, okay let's hear it. Okay, that's so, for me, that's easy. So I was raised in a male dominant home and I have three older brothers. So I wasn't raised with a sister or really close with any other girls. And for me, I do not like the cattiness at all. I just, it's easier. Guys are just easier to be around. They're like homeboys. They're just guys like they're not in their feelings as much Mm -hmm. unless like they feel like you know you they're like i'm like their sister then they can talk about like their girls and stuff like that so you know we got questions and i also think that girls are sneaky as hell Mm -hmm. they'll literally try to scoop your boo right behind you i don't like that has that happened yep that's why i don't have a lot of girlfriends (laughs) (laughs) so you started you started with a lot of girlfriends no i did not it was just very I don't know. So how do you handle it if you find out one of your male friends ends up liking you? I feel like you can kind of pick up on that vibe, mm-hmm. depending, I feel like. So for me, I've had a couple of my guy friends been like, oh, like, I've always liked you, but you've been blah, blah, blah. blah. And I'm like, oh, like, that's like, we're definitely better <laughs> off as friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm like a very, Sheesh. and that may suck, hey. but like. Do you stay friends? I mean, yeah. Does he keep trying? No. Really? Wow, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, because I'm the type of person that, like, I, 99% of the time I mean what I say. Because mm-hmm. you got some guys. I've done it before, too. <laughs> You're chilling that friend zone for As years, maybe. Oh, they'll be riding that I wave. Bet. You're guilty? Hell yeah. <laughs> I rode the friend zone wave for, like, three years one time. Three mm-hmm. years? Three years. years. I think I got friends going but it on, wasn't like, not like It wasn't like, um, it wasn't like I'm constantly asking her out and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. I would just kind of sit back, you know, play my little friend role quick. You're going to come along eventually. She never came along. You were trying to play that, like, best friend card that could Not a best friend, but just, like, like, just be cordial with it. Just be cool. Hmm. Was she feeding you, like, breadcrumbs to, like, to continue? Nah, not really. Like, three I just, years I just crazy. I just, you know, I was like, You yeah, really I liked her. Yeah. Me- I would never do, like, a... I would never do like a consistently hanging out mm-hmm. though. Like we didn't see each other all the time. It was oh, just kind of okay. like we were cool. Okay. And every time we hung out, I'd sneak my little remarks in there. <laughs> now, but, I have a question for y'all. Like, because I have guy friends that I consider like my best friends. Mm-hmm. But I know that if I were to want to do something or whatever, you know, they would probably be more inclined to date me, hook up, whatever. Do you guys have, like, what is your take on having a girl as your friend that you potentially could be in a relationship with, but you don't want to really cross that boundary? You got to have a lot of discipline. Mm. You got to tread lightly. It's hard, especially if you're attracted to her. Uh I've actually had girlfriends like that, and I'm like, I tell myself, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. 
Because I know I might not necessarily want a relationship with her. Uh-huh. But if we were to hook up, it would be a great time. Yeah. But then it would probably ruin the friendship. Exactly. So then you're like, all right, is exactly. it lust or friendship? When it comes to girls I'm really attracted to like that, we could be cool, but I try not to be like buddy-buddy with them hanging out all the time. Cause okay. Because if we're not fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> then it's, it's going to be too too much temptation. Gotcha. Okay. Now, if we're hooking up, that would be different. Right. But being friends with her. Mm, nah. Like, if you were friends with a chick, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. and then you, y'all, like, maybe either it was a mutual thing where you guys had feelings for each other, mm-hmm. but there were some things that, like, you knew about each other that would prevent you from being able to explore the relationship. Like, what goes through your mind of, like, no, I really still want this person still in my life. I'm going to have to put my feelings aside. You no, know, like. I, I, I wouldn't be able to. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to just. Okay. Yeah, I don't hold back my emotions and my feelings for that. Okay. Especially if I'm into her, like, yeah. let's just see where it goes. Gotcha. Okay. I can't be friends mm. with a girl that I'm attracted to. That I'm physically attracted to. So you, you got to have sex with all of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris. Just being honest, yeah. How do you control yourself? Like, that's crazy. That's she discipline. Wa- she walk in, she looking like a snack to you. And you just but like, some, I gotta, some of I gotta them like cool, bro. You know, some of them fans. I can get past it, but some of them if they bad, I'm like, oh, mm, okay, well, we can't be just friends. It's not gonna work. I just think it's always fascinating. Like, I mean, I hate could to break you, it to you. Could you be friends but... with the guy that you find attractive? Yeah, really, absolutely. You can control yourself. Well, yeah, but the thing is, is I'm not stupid. Like, I don't have any ugly friends. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, okay. all of my friends are attractive. Like, mm-hmm. they're all they all clean up really well. They take care of themselves. Like, they dress well. Okay, so what does it mean when a girl says you're a great guy, but <laughs> this just sounds bad. Right? So this is what's diff- so this is what's difficult for me because I'm the type of person I'm very like I look at everything mm-hmm. before getting to like a decision. Mm-hmm. So my perspective, I've said it because either I felt like the guy was just too good for me and he was too nice and wasn't much of a challenge, or I was dating other Whoa. people and I still wanted to like fill it out. Or Three I just options. yeah yeah. Or I just didn't want to hurt him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so why not just say that? Why not just tell him it? I was young and stupid. Because mm-hmm. you probably <laughs> felt like telling him that would hurt him. Yeah, yeah. You're just so dating around. If a guy, you know, he's a good guy. He's easy to read. Is is does that scare you all away? Would you say? Personally, for me, I like there to be a little bit of like a guess. Like I like to miss the person. Like I don't want to really like mm-hmm. read him fully. Because then it's like it's too predictable. Like it's not yeah. spicy enough for me. But that's just okay. a me thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a so woman like, thing. Or maybe. I don't know. I don't have a lot of girlfriends, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you some girlfriends today. Oh, okay. What does it mean when a woman says, I'm not like the other girls? <laughs> I'm really mean? curious to what hear What does this it one. mean when a have woman you ever said says, that? Or, yeah, like, I'm when not like the other girls? Yeah. No, fact. Because I'm definitely not like the other girls. I actually can fix my car. Like, I, I'm, I'm a very, like, I actually know how to put gas in a car. And I know that I need windshield wiper fluid. Like, okay. I know this type of stuff. But for me is, I have said that to guys because I don't need a man. I want a man. Okay. So... I don't need a man to take the trash out or to, you know, pay all of my bills and send me money for my nails. Like, I don't need that. But it would be nice if a guy would provide that, you know, on his own. It's not like I'm going to drop those hints. So for me, it's I'm not the type of female that's going to I'm not looking for a guy to just mooch off of. I'm not a Mm -hmm. man's other bill. So that's my definition. Um other girls are probably just trying to spit game. I don't know. If they say they're not like the others? Mm-hmm. They're probably... Well, the thing is, is that... I got a, a side one off of that. What does it mean when she says, I usually don't do this? Because but... I've heard them back to back. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls, mm-hmm. and I usually don't do this. I feel like it's the same exact thing that guys always say. Like, oh, it's been a while. It's Please. been a while. Please. Get out of here. It's, been, it's a while. been a while for what... Like going out on a date or it's been oh, a while. It's been a oh, while okay, okay, okay. Uh, where he actually vibed with a girl. It's been a while <laughs> since he's hooked up with somebody. It's been a it's while. Been a while. Oh, whatever. Have you used that? Yes. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. I don't believe that <laughs> at all. I, uh, can, uh-uh. you, can you tell if a man has, when it has been a while for him, if he tells you that, you're like, oh yeah, he's telling the truth. 
Um, I feel like you can you can read the energy. Like okay. you can definitely feel the energy. Like I don't want to give it away because I'm not trying to teach these men how to maneuver. Do wow. your thing. Do your thing. Speak your truth. Well, that's the thing. That's what I'm. Drop that's some what gems I'm for them. That, but for who? For the men. The men. That's going to bleed into the whole narcissistic thing. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to get I'm into that later. Telling you right now how social media is going right now. It is teaching men how to maneuver mm-hmm. instead of actually teaching them how to really be men. My perspective. We're going to get okay. into that. But um, yeah, I feel like you can definitely feed off of like energy and a vibe. And if a guy is actually like really nervous, mm-hmm. if you're actually genuinely like interested in the person, you can you're going to feel that you're going to be able to see like, the, like his eye contact. Like, mm-hmm. is he shaking? Like, is he a little nervous? Is he hesitant? Like, is he resisting? You know what I mean? Like you're going to be able to feel that. And if the girl's not feeling that, then she's either too lit or she's just maybe not all upstairs. You said, um, if a guy says it's been a while since I vibe with the girl connected with her, mm-hmm. like if I say that, I really do mean that. Mm, okay. I wouldn't want to say that to every girl because yeah. then they're going to get their head boosted and mm-hmm. they're going to think like, Oh, this guy's, He's in love with me. He's like, he's really feeling like, yeah, oh, slow down, slow down. Slow I mean, down. there's a difference when, with like, you don't have to say that. You can just say like, I really vibe with you. Like you're yeah. real cool. You sometimes know I, mean? I don't even have to say, sometimes we just feel it like, yeah, I like this. Like, and I'll show you what action. I want to see you again. Like right. if I'm distant, I'm not really texting you. Then it's clear that. Yeah. I mean, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. So exactly. there's that. Exactly. Okay. So what does it mean if a girl's in her soft girl era? I hear that a lot. I don't know what I'm that actually means. curious. Yeah. So it's basically where she's in her. She's more tapped into her feminine. Her feminine energy. So, okay. Because the thing is, is like men are very emotional. You guys are. You just, you guys are very emotional beings. I did. Yeah. Um, because of, you know, you guys have to be strong and protectors and whatever society has told you guys that you need to be. Mm-hmm. But girls, and I can only speak really for myself, is I'm an alpha female. I was raised with all men. So, like, I was taught to get everything on my own. I don't need to depend on anybody else. I got this, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm the only person that I can count on. Mm -hmm. And that's true. So, men, as a provider, that's what typically your parents have instilled in you and society has instilled in you as well. So, with that being said, girls being feminine... It's hard to be able to do that when a man isn't leading properly and isn't providing properly to get the girl to be soft, that they don't have to worry about those certain things. Yeah, absolutely. Because I feel that guys have to reach a certain maturity level Mm -hmm. to know how to handle a woman that's like that, you know, because every strong woman obviously has her weak points. Every strong man obviously has his weak points. So it needs to be a team effort. So if a guy is intimidated by a strong female, then that's clearly not the woman for him because mm-hmm. the woman should be inspiring him, not true. intimidating true. him. True. true, true, true. I do believe every woman does want to be submissive. Absolutely. And I believe every woman. And that you have your ones who are stronger and more masculine and mm-hmm. more, you know, I could do all by myself, mm-hmm. but... I've, I've, I've seen the breakthrough. Trust me, I'm, I'm like that. I'm literally submissive by choice. Like, for me, like, I'm... I feel like I'm strong as hell, but as soon as I, like, really vibe with a guy and I'm like, all right, I'm locked in, Mm -hmm. like, I will go, I will move any mountain for him. And I'm literally... yourself get loose a little bit. Yeah, like, I'm literally, like, I'm I'm a very thoughtful person, like, words of affirmation, like, quality time is my thing. Um, So, like, for me, like, I'm huge on gifts, but sentimental gifts. Very, very sentimental. Which makes me in my soft girl. Soft girl. (laughs) I've been hearing that so much, so I'm like... (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I guess everybody claiming it. So, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Do we, a, do we have like a, a male version of that? Probably. Soft boy error or that, salty? I, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't picture right. a guy <laughs> saying that. That would be crazy. <laughs> I'm in my soft boy era. A soft man <laughs> error. Come at me, correct. Oh. Soft man. Nah. <laughs> it just sounds funny. I so I, you know. What, matter of fact. Are you in your soft man era? What the fuck is Ooh. that? What do women mean when they say you could go out? I don't mind. Ooh, I see the face. <laughs> I see the face. Well, no, because now my like I'm thinking of so many different scenarios. You know, like no, it's okay. You can go out with your boys. Like low key is like because I didn't want to go out with you either. You know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. it could be throwing shade. Wait, how's that throwing shade? Like 
if a guy is going to go out without her, mm-hmm. you know, like some girls will be sarcastic about it. Like, oh, no, like you can go out. I don't mind. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like okay. being sarcastic of, because every relationship is different. So that's where it's like these questions are tough for me because it's like you don't know their history. You don't know how long they've been together. You don't know if they're like a best friend that, you know, like we were talking about earlier, like if they were best friends that actually mm-hmm. like develop something and they genuinely don't care. Like, one of my relationships, we were together for, like, three years, and I genuinely did not care if he went out, because I knew all the boys that he was with, mm-hmm. and I knew where the hell he was going. It was going. He was going to the same place every single time. He was sitting in the same corner, ordering the same drink. Like, I didn't care. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if there's a good balance, maybe it's easier to do that. Like, if he went out with her two days, and mm-hmm. then one day yeah. was with the boys... It's super important. It's super. I think no matter how long you've been with somebody, you you never stop dating them ever. Absolutely, like never. And there's so many people that just get so comfortable and they just they don't do it. You know, they start with you know a dinner of just fully engaged conversation to however long it takes them to get comfortable, and they're just sitting there scrolling their phone or they're like watching TV, eating Mm -hmm. dinner. It's just like they're not as present. Um, I think that healthy balance is huge. I mean, not for nothing, guys, y'all need your guy time. You can't sure. be around your girl Absolutely. all the time. And it sure. it looks different. It looks different. Hey, hey just chill, just chill, just chill, just chill. Hey, daddy, can you come do some more of that stuff you were doing to me last night? Yo, the confidence sexual booster, though, this one's my personal favorite. Why she she's been saying that I've been bending her in ways she didn't even know her body was capable of bending. I've been <laughs> loving it. Confidence is an all natural sexual enhancement formulation for the overachiever like me. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Scientifically okay. brewed to give you increased energy, stamina, and longevity during sex. And I will tell you, yo, I have been going rounds and rounds and rounds to the break of dawn. I've been feeling real good. Damn. Shout out to Confidence. Shout out to Modern Man. Go get some of that. Would you be with a man who has a bunch of hoe friends? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I did that once. Didn't really work out. So, no. No, because? I definitely understand that every man is different. Um, I don't. I don't like it. It just makes me uncomfortable. And I don't like... That situation was very different. He had, a, like, a really, really tight friend group, and they were all single besides him, mm-hmm. and they were very, very thirsty. They were always trying to get him to go out, ragging on him and all this stuff, and I would tag along, you know, because I was, like, I was chill with all of them. Like, I don't care. Y'all are single. Go do your thing. Like, yeah, she's got a fat one, too. Go go get her. I don't <laughs> care. You know? Like, I didn't care because I was with my guy, mm-hmm. but then... Fast forward, like, he ended up cheating on me. So it was like... So you felt like it was influenced because of that. Absolutely right. Mm. So, but at the end of the day, it's his character. It's not everyone else's character. But it is still an influence of who you subject yourself to and who you surround yourself with. Right. So if you continue to surround... If you're a good person and you continue to surround yourself with, you know, messed up stuff, eventually you're going to either learn how to maneuver or you're going to dabble. So, being that you have a lot of guy friends, could you be with him if he has a lot of girlfriends? It's a double-edged (laughs) sword. It's like, well, all your guy friends will probably hook up with you if you gave them a chance. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, your girls will probably do the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, who's to say that it's not fair play on Mm -hmm. both sides? I've never really dated a guy that had a lot of girlfriends. And if they did have a lot of girlfriends, they weren't actually friends. They were... Uh friends with benefits like in the past or we weren't actually official so it wasn't that big of a deal you know what i'm saying i also wouldn't bring girls that i had to pass with around my new girl i don't maneuver well with that wow okay but it depends Does that surprise you? Yeah. it depends though i, just, I can't I just i feel like it'd be i get smart awkward to do it to get I, the elephant like addressed oh no, it's right too awkward, awkward for me Whoa. i'm like why would i know I had sex with this girl, and I'm going to bring her around this girl that I'm but with But the now. thing is, is that, like, y'all have, yeah, you guys already, like, been intimate, right? Mm-hmm. But then at that point, you're grown, you're adults. Like, you wouldn't have established, like, hey, you know what? Romantically, we're not fit, mm-hmm. but I still like you as a person. You're still my friend. What does it really mean when a woman says, I need space? 
I genuinely feel if someone says that they need space, they're already out. And I think girls, and I think that that goes for guys too. You know, I feel like if you need space from me or I need space from you. I feel like that's just a nice way of breaking up. Yeah. Like, I feel like you never say I need space and then come back. It's, I think it's really difficult, but it's really delicate. Like if you guys are married, right. Mm -hmm. Then that's that's a little bit of a different situation. But if you guys are still dating, courting each other, whatever, the needing space thing, I just feel like. Just cut it. What does it mean when a woman says, I want to take things slow? If I say that I want to take things slow, I need to build a foundation and I need you to become my best friend. Like, you need to become my safe space. We need to go do activities. We don't need to dive into these expensive dinners and calling me and texting me all day, every day. Like, doing all that, like, relationshipy stuff without the actual title. Like, I want to take things slow and not... Dive because that's gonna the honeymoon stage is gonna fall off eventually, right, of you course. know. And I'm very busy, so I also don't want to feel like I'm disappointing someone that's has more time than I do, right? You know. So for me, it's like if I want to take things slow, then it's like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, we can see each other like once or twice a week, you know. Like, let's do some Facetimes or whatever. Mm-hmm. But we don't gotta we don't gotta see each other every day. Crazy. Is it a turn off if a guy is not busy? Yes, hundred percent. Like, like he got too much time for you. He's it, okay. He's so always here's, available. Here's my thing. I, I mean, I like a man to be available for me every day, but not all day, every day. Because crazy. Like, if, if I wanted a pet, I would, I would buy a pet. <laughs> you know, but I, I think that they're one of the most attractive things for me is I have a very busy week, but I will make time. Oh my, that, that is great. The, oh <laughs> <laughs> Say that one more time. Because it's like you're. You're showing that you want to show up for her. Mm-hmm. You're you're telling her you're very busy, but you're going to make the time for her. Oh. I'm going to practice that. What? I had a very busy week. No, so here's but the I thing. But I got an hour for you tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. There's guys that misuse that. <laughs> I've never used that to be honest. No. There's some. I've, I've been telling me. I've heard it all. So it's basically we're going to make a game out of it. Mm? Let's play a game. Mm? Want to play a game? Let's play a game. How do you play a game with... Okay, teach me. Because it's can't have I with y'all. We have fun. Yeah, I'm nervous, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. First, I'm going to explain what narcissism is. Some people do not know. Uh, just a standard definition. Extreme self-involvement to the degree that it makes a person ignore the needs of those around them. So some narcissism traits are a sense of entitlement, manipulative behavior, need for admiration, lack of empathy, and arrogance. Mm-hmm. Sound right? Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to name a few behaviors, and you're going to answer with, is this narcissistic or not? Oh, this is going to be tough, because I'm hella salty right now off of a narcissist. So, for me, I'm foggy as hell. <laughs> some, of, some of them are typical behaviors. Some of them are typical yeah, that's, behaviors. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. All right, so, number one. <laughs> I'm nervous. He doesn't compliment you. I wouldn't label him a narcissist. He's stupid. What would you label him? <laughs> stupid? Like, like, rude. <laughs> rude. Not for real. That's, that's, that's easy. Compliment. Yo, like, I just, uh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like complimenting, like, that's just, that's normal. Like, yeah. every man spits game that way. Compliment the girl. You would think. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Um, if he gives you the silent treatment when you argue. Wouldn't necessarily classify that as a narcissistic trait. That is just a, um, I would more so put that to a like an avoidant attachment style okay um, i agree with that so that's where it's it's difficult because narcissists can they gotta get quiet they mm. pull back naturally that one was in the article i read oh okay yeah this pulled from an article oh yeah oh well some what of you them read are, online some of them i made up you could, you'll, you'll be able to tell what <laughs> oh you know. gosh okay this one i made up. i hope so he gets jealous if you go out no not narcissist. No, I don't think so. What because narcissists think that they are like the freaking epitome of all epitome of people, <laughs> um, and they're like, "Oh, I don't, I don't care that you have guy friends or uh, you know." Meanwhile, they have a bunch of girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I dealt with a narcissist. It's just like a person just controlling you. I don't know. insecure I don't know. or yeah, like just uncomfortable. Not. Depending, yeah, like I wouldn't really put. I wouldn't put that as a narcissist. That's right. To be honest, uh, I do, doesn't open the car door for you. Oh, that's just rude. I wouldn't say that's a narcissist. <laughs> I made that one up just for you. Yeah, I wouldn't. You're a car girl. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would not. 
it's so funny because I'm so I'm terrible. I'm terrible in a sense of like when somebody offers to do something for me, I, I'm like, no, nah, I got it mm. easily, easily. And so it's, you got to nudge you a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you, you just got it. The thing is, is that with girls like you. So for, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like for me, I'm so straightforward. I'm so straightforward that I'm like, don't ask me. Mm-hmm. I'm automatically going to say I got it. Just go do it. Just do it. He doesn't let you have control over what you wear. He doesn't let you have control over what you wear. The, like first if, off. If the titties are out, he's like, Mm-mm. No. First of all, there's a. <laughs> so here's the thing. I wouldn't say that that's narcissistic. I would think a narcissist, like low key, like he would want to flaunt his girl in a way because it makes him look better. Do mm-hmm. you think there's a limit? you think there's too much? Yeah, I mean, depending on where we're going, you know, a family get-together, and if something's a little too risque, then yeah, tell me to change my top. Or if the jeans are a little too tight, like that's that's for a different type of dinner, then all right, yeah, mm-hmm. cool. Go ahead and tell me that, you know? But no. Yeah. I, I mean, unless he's like a personal stylist. And he wants to go through my closet and put my outfits together, then all right. right. But if he ain't that, then no. What if he's bad at listening to you? Then I wouldn't be with him. Or maybe he just doesn't care to listen to you. Exactly right. They don't care. There's no empathy. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They want you to, they want to create a safe space for you. So you can, they can get, they can get you right where they want you. So I'm going to get the next one. Uh, He talks about his day more than you get to talk about yours. Just self bit. like self absorbed, you know. I think it depends. I mean, that's a narcissistic trait. Interesting. Really? Well, I'm also learning too right now. I'm not like a master at this topic. I honestly, um, I, that's one of like, my biggest pet peeves. What if they have more going on with their life? No, I'm a list, but I'm talking about like on all the, the daily, time. Like mm. every day you get I'll home say and that. like they're flooding you about their day, mm-hmm. and then you try to talk about yours. Like, no, I've but my in, day was like, this yeah. Is, Okay, I've been in sure, a relationship sure. like that where, you know, I dated someone who was just a talker to where I felt like I was I was the therapist. I couldn't even get a <laughs> word in. I would have to, like, raise my voice to interject a little bit. And he'd be like, oh, you're here? Like, forgot it was, to stop talking. I'm like, oh, I forgot you were on the phone. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I'm actually, like, now curious. Like, if your girl had, like, a, her career job, she made great money. And you actually preferred to, like, be home and be, like, a stay-at-home dad. Mm -hmm. Would that ever be something you guys would actually consider? I know you just basically said no. But, like, with... Because I don't see anything wrong with that. I see nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. (laughs) It's tough because it's it's still work. Maybe... This is hard to answer. Maybe later in life. But right now, I I Mm. can't sit home and do the dishes. I I can't. That's cool. Yo, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta be like you gotta do the laundry, you gotta clean the house, you gotta think I, of the meals, I get do the kids that as ready. It is. Like I already do that. Uh, besides the kids, no, no kids yeah. right now. But like I clean up. I, I like making your girls lunch. You know what? I think men uh, should do that. that. Believe it or not, you've entertained you, it. Like like the idea of it, but only because of you know my I experience. Know, I don't know. Because the oh. women that, that have been... So Chris attracts a lot of rich women. Interesting. I don't know why. I don't know I do. why. That's I don't know. nice. Like filthy rich too, not even like... Yeah. So wait a minute, are they investing in you? What's going on here? Yeah, they'll try to like spoil me. No. They try, they mm. do. Well, yeah, they do. They're like, they're like, let me fill up your tank. Can I take you out? Can I buy your drinks? Can I... I'm like, damn. Like, okay. But like, invest in you. I'm talking about like, Give if you a have detail. a business... A business idea, like your education, like if they're, are they taking that money and, and trying to invest it in bettering you, not yeah. giving you this temporary crap? Yeah, like if I complain about the podcast, they'll be like, can I help you? Like I could, I could solve that for you. Mm, okay. So like, they'll, they'll be supportive of the dream. Mm, okay. Do you ever feel like a boy toy? <laughs> for real. <laughs> Sorry, I was oh. not expecting that question. <laughs> no, this is actually new to me, so no. I'm, I'm curious to hear. <laughs> yeah, with a couple. Okay, but I kind of I, I didn't feel like embarrassed. I felt very selected. I feel like you got to be a certain type of man for a girl to really want to like they treat see, you. Yeah, they see potential. Yeah, you can't you can't just be like a bum or just like a scrub or just like. Have you ever felt like a like they only gave you attention because they probably looked at you like you were just like a project? 
No. Most of the time, they're like, you're, you're very handsome. It's based off of looks. They'll, they'll feed me a lot of compliments. Mm-hmm. So I can tell where it comes from. Okay. Um, he doesn't comfort you if you cry. I would think so. And I'm only basing that off of this last situation I was in. That's you crazy. Had a woman cry in front of you? Yeah. I had. How'd you handle it? I mean, like, common sense. Hold her. Tell her everything's going to be okay. Was it yeah. awkward for you? Say there, there. Because some guys. No, I'm like, not gonna pat her like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, like, like, I'm not, I don't know. I might like rub her back a little bit. And just yeah. like this. Oh, you put me on. What if it's not in person? Talk me. Or, or would you just? Yeah. Would you just kind of just like saying like, "Damn, sorry, you're going through that." Yeah, just try to understand them. But genuinely mean it. Yeah, for sure. Oh for yeah, sure. that's nice. That is nice. I mean, if it's my person, (laughs) it's my person. Tell me more. If you're crying in front of me, I'm not just going to be like, can you pass me the remote? (laughs) Well. Doesn't text you to see if you made it home. Did one of yours do this too? All of my narcissists did it, yeah. (laughs) And all of my friends do it, and they're not narcissists. So, yeah, people actually do that for me. So, I I don't know. I'm actually big on that. I don't know. I I can't answer if that's a narcissistic trait or not. But my thing, I'm used to dealing with men who are smart with their game where they'll be like, let me know when you get home. So that way they know my ass is home so they can go and do something else. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, never like that. Bro, I'm telling you with? right now, I, when I tell you I have been dealing with some shit. Yo, I've have been you ever dealing done that? with this shit. No! <laughs> And I'm not even, like, I can't even really be mad at it. I have brothers. Like, I've got hella guy friends. Like, I Damn. get it. That's why I'm just like, man, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to win. You do that every time, don't you? <laughs> Look oh, my you. God. Jesus. He literally is like, damn. You have me proud, too. Out. No, like, I'm going to just text her and be like, text me when you get home because I know she's going to look at that and feel good, but... I'm still out doing. Yo, my you're sick. Yeah, you're sick. Dang, like I just, I'm just looking good in front of you. Like, cool. I don't. I'm probably not going to read yeah. the message to a different people. But just. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wait. But did you tell her that you were home and you were actually hurt? Absolutely. Oh no, no 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 no! You little narcissist over here. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm I knew kidding. they were going to find kidding. out the real you. I knew they were going to find out the real you. I'm kidding. But, that was the old you. <laughs> do Do you feel a type of way if a woman tells you to text, like text her when you get home? I saw the text. Okay. But if I'm All leaving right. her place, I'm most likely going home. <laughs> not going to no, go no, back. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, like I'm does, good for the night. Does that mean anything to you if she tells you, like, oh, I text like me. it. Okay. I like it. But when I don't get that text, I'm like, mm, my little FBI hat goes Jeez. on. I'm like, mm, okay, yeah. what you really she, doing? She would be on to you. That's why you got to text them. No, what? trust she me. She would be on even, to you. See? Even <laughs> if, even if you, t- no, mm-mm. Unless, mm. nope, I'm still always looking. <laughs> he is overprotective of you. Oh, I love that. You love that? Mm hmm. Because there's a difference there's between no, being. There's no max, there's no capacity at that. Well, don't be controlling and don't be like obsessive and a stalker. That's crazy. There's, there's levels to this. Okay. I didn't expect that. I like that. I like what, that. What if he's over arrogant? I wouldn't be dating him. So there's that. No arrogance for you? I mean, there's a level of confidence that's great. Um, but if he is. So arrogant to the point where he's like talking bad about other people. He doesn't like show any type of empathy for anybody else. Like that's mm-hmm. definitely an, a narcissistic trait. So, so what that. about overly confident? I feel like it's a way. It's a. It, they're. How do I say this? It's all in the delivery, right? So the narcissists that I have dated, they are confident within themselves. But they've never vocalized, like, putting other people down or thinking that they're better than other people. And if they have, it's always been in, like, kind of like a joking way Mm -hmm. and, like, within the topic of the conversation. So, for me, it was kind of, like, out of sight, out of mind. Like, oh, yeah, like, I would do the same thing, too. Like, yeah, I agree. Like, a general thing. Um, But I like a confident person, you know, like, Mm -hmm. that they carry themselves well. I wouldn't classify that as a narcissistic trait. Yeah. I don't know. This was hard. It was hard? No. You- yeah, I feel like it's because I'm still learning, like, narcissistic 
traits you're, and behaviors. You're Dr. Linda. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm FBI I feel like you gave Linda. Pretty, FBI Linda, Detective FBI Linda. Linda. I feel like Trust you gave me. good answers. You try to lie in my face, I will find out or I already knew. Mm. Um, mm. No, nah, I don't like that. Don't play in my face. That's crazy. Cool. Especially if I tell you not to, that's crazy. So I actually have a question for you guys because I saw something on TikTok and I was like, huh. So I forget whose video I was watching, but it was like within the first two months of dating, it's difficult to be able to distinguish a good guy versus a toxic guy because a good guy is genuine with his intentions. A toxic guy is genuine with his intentions Mm -hmm. of getting what he wants so then he can just move on. Do you guys feel girls do that? If we were doing girls versus guys, I think guys do it more mm. because we're trying to court you and chase you in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Men have to do more of the courting, mm-hmm. typically. For us, it's like we're we're showing interest and we're showing attention, and then the women might take it as, oh, he's really interested in me, and then we have sex. Mm-hmm. And then toxic. the man <laughs> takes a step back. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, the woman thought you were feeling, mm-hmm. feeling her. For me, I hold, I am heavy on holding people accountable. And if and that's that's where I always run into the issue. Well, both men and women, I think people don't want to be by themselves or lonely. So yeah. even though they're probably not ready to date, they're like, well, I'm just going to go entertain this woman for mm-hmm. a little bit or entertain this man. And yeah. One person gets attached, and one person starts feeling a person a little bit mm-hmm. more, and then, you know, they were doing whatever to get you, and then they got you, and they're like, all right, mm-hmm. I'm out. And then yeah. the other person's like, damn, like, I, was, I was feeling you. Mm-hmm. What happened? Why are you leaving? Mm-hmm. I also feel like people do that. I feel like guys do that more because I feel like guys heal backwards. So what I mean by that is if... Let's just say you and your girl split, right? You would be more inclined to go out, get numbers, whatever, like just talk to other girls to distract yourself from your feelings, while a girl will be sitting all up in her feelings and being all mad and like sad and all this stuff. So to heal herself before she gets back out on the market to grab those numbers. Right, absolutely. And then if it doesn't work out with those girls that you, you know, were entertaining, then that's when you're like, dang. You miss her? You, you heal later. Like, it's more of, like, a prolonged healing. A lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of things written about it, videos on it, even, like, my brothers, like, guy friends. Like, it's really interesting, that type of perspective of how yeah. most girls heal first, which puts them in their masculine, mm-hmm. right? So then when they're start when they've healed from that, now they're in their soft girl era where they're open to those ah, new opportunities. so that's what it means. Exactly right. You got a definition. Yeah, so that's, that's. So whenever I see online, I'm in my soft girl era. That, that girl's ready. Oh, say less. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> I thought that meant they doing themselves like men stay away. It's gonna women, haunt me now. Women are gonna hate this, but they be killing me with the quotes. The like I open the stories and quote after quote after quote. Oh after my quote. gosh! Like, oh, yeah, I created a whole page oh for that. God. Did you? Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's like motivational stuff. It's not like. If he don't text you back, that's because he's with other bitches. Like, no, it's not that. It's like, I like to motivate people. Do you think everybody's hurt? Yeah, I feel like. I feel like we're all. Kind of seems like it these we're, days. We're all, yeah. I mean, we're social media now, I feel like, has such a heavy presence, I feel, on a lot of people. Um, I feel like it's really difficult for people to really find, like, who they are, what their purpose is, and, like, their own actual identity to where they low key are hurting themselves yeah. because there's the there's comparison. There's so much garbage thrown at us. Mm hmm. 100%. Well, stay tuned. Uh, go share with a friend. Share with your mom. Share with your dad. Share with your baby mama. Share with your baby daddy. Share with your grandpa. Share with your auntie. Share with all those people. Can't have out with your podcast. Like, review, subscribe, all that good stuff. TikTok, <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, X, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all that good stuff. Peace, man. Doses, doses. <laughs>